Hi all, welcome to Raw Online. Today we are going to deal with one important topic: how to assess the risk in cardiac surgery. Whenever you see a patient, you have to explain the risk in the procedure. How you are going to calculate this risk for patients coming to surgery? Whenever you go for a pre-op assessment, you see the patient symptom, physical signs, and assess the functional. capacity then you go for an extensive preoperative investigation in spite of investigation being extensive you have some undiagnosed cardiovascular pathology which might affect the outcome that is where your risk scoring system come into picture understanding the basic principle and the sensitivity and specificity of each scoring system is very very essential to explain the risk benefit ratio to the patient the first risk scoring system was done in 1977 by goldman it is called the goldman cardiac risk index there are about 9 variables and each variable has specific point coming to the history a recent mi mi within 6 months is given 10 points and an elderly patient whose age is more than 70 years is given 5 points and coming to the physical examination s3 gallop or a jugular vein elevation is given 11 point which means there is a failure component significant aortic stenosis is given 3 points now coming to electrocardiogram any rhythm other than sinus or atrial premature complex is given 7 point or five premature ventricular complex per minute any time before surgery is also given Seven points. Other factors: poor general medical condition of the patient, where your PO2 is low, carbon dioxide is high, potassium is low, and your blood urea, nitrogen, and creatinine is high, and patient is bedridden. This is given three points. High risk surgery like intraperitoneal, intrathoracic, or aortic operation is given three points, and emergency nature of surgery is given four points. So total is around fifty-three. points the number of patients which was included in the original goldman study was around 1001 patients now how you interpret the goldman risk index it is class 1 if the total point is between 0 to 5% and there is no major or minor complication life threatening complication is hardly 0.07% and cardiac death is 0.2% in class 2 the score is between 6 to 12 and 93% of the time there is no major issue the probability of right threatening complication is around 5% and cardiac death is 2% in class 3 the score is between 13 to 25 86% without any major complication the life threatening complication will be around 11% and cardiac death is around 2% in class 4 the score is greater than 26 points and almost only 22% escape without complication life threatening complication is around 22% and you can see the mortality is drastically increased it is around 56% so class 4 has a significant i mortality where the score is greater than 26 the next scoring system after 9 year was detsky's modified multifactorial index he looked at 10 variables and assessed points like similar to goldman here myocardial infarction within 6 months is given 10 point and if it is over than 6 months it is 5 points canadian cardiovascular society angina class if it is class 3 it is 10 point class 4 is 20 points and if there is an unstable angina it is 10 points similar to myocardial infarction presence of pulmonary edema within one week it is 10 points or the patient had previous history of pulmonary edema it is 5 points critical aortic stenosis is given the highest point 20 points and sinus atrial premature beat or a non sinus rhythm is given 5 points five ventricular premature beat and any times prior to surgery is 5 points poor general medical status is given 5 points and elderly patient it is 5 points emergency surgery it is 10 points the total points is around 
90 percent. Now you will interrupt this dead ski modified index. It is class 1 if it is 0 to 15 percent and the mortality is 0.4 in all type of surgery whether it is minor or major. In class 2 score is between 15 to 30 point. In minor surgery the mortality is around 2.8 but in major surgery it is 3.6 on an average it is 3.4. In class 3 the score is greater than 30 points. In minor surgery it, the risk is around 12.2 percent but in major it is 14.9 average is around 10.6 percent increase in risk for patient coming for surgery.